we got some issues here. Um, so on the last example, ladies and gentlemen, what we went over was the power to product rule. And basically, Jessica, we're going to be doing the, exactly the power to product rule. Jessica, Jessica, I don't know, I'm just waiting for that to be flipped over, over. There you go. JT to have his pencil in his hand. Ready to write it down? Good. All right. Um, so basically, no, you didn't put it back in your hand. Um, basically, ladies and gentlemen, the main important thing is if you, if you guys remember last class period, we did the power to product rule, which we took our power and we distributed it to every term um, that was, it was raised to. Well, now we also have a quotient. So the power to quotient rule states is you're going to do the exact same thing as the power to product rule. This power is represented to every single one of these terms. So what I like to do, and, and you know, guys, it's okay if you're doing a little bit of extra work so you guys can make sure you have everything under, understood, but this too, I am going to raise everything to that power. And if you just want to write it out like that, then that's perfectly fine. At least that way you guys can remember what exactly you're doing and not always get so confused. But that power, that's what the power to product rule as well as the power to quotient rule represent. That power goes to every single one of those terms. Now, at least for me, it becomes a little bit easier of what I'm going to do. All right, now I have an exponent raised to a power. So when I have an exponent raised to the power, like we already did, we multiply the powers. So therefore, this becomes x to the negative 2 thirds y squared over x to the 4 thirds times y to the um, negative first power. It's really negative 2 over 2. But if you guys have negative 2 over, eh, I'll just write it. Eh, you guys are OK? Yeah. Yes? All right. So now I am subtracting, right? So if I am subtract, oh, I'm sorry, now I am dividing exponents. Now, just like we did last, now, just like we did uh, last chapter, when we are dividing exponents, we're going to subtract the powers. Where'd Ashley do that go? Did she just walk out? OK. So now we subtract the powers. So this becomes x to the negative 2 thirds minus 4 thirds, y to the second minus 1. All right? So if we have negative 2 thirds minus 4 thirds, that's going to become x. What? Yeah. Oh, yes. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. Two minus a negative one. Very good. Thank you. Um, very common mistake. So therefore, this becomes x to the negative six thirds times y to the positive thirds. Well, negative six divided by three is going to be negative two. So that's x to the negative second y cubed. Now remember, to rewrite x to the negative second with a positive power, we'd have to put it in the denominator. So your final answer is y cubed over x squared. OK.